Ever since I was four years old, I knew what I wanted to be. I could throw a baseball faster and, ironically, uh, straighter than, uh, <laughs> than any kid twice my age. It made me different. And um, it's just about as different as these, uh, these feelings that I started having a few years later. So, I used the first thing that made me different, cover up the second. I hid behind it. I could stand on a little mound of dirt in front of 75,000 screaming people. And everywhere I went, they all knew who I was. I was, I was Paul Narita, all-star pitcher. I was, uh, I was respected and admired. But me, I couldn't even look at myself in the mirror. Um, my, my grandfather and my mother, uh, they couldn't be here today, but they raised me together. And I like to think they did a damn good job of it. Hi, Mom. Konnichiwa, Oji san. Naishiru ne? Um, my mother and my grandfather, they, they're Japanese, obviously. <laughs> Uh, and, and the reason I tell you that is because, well, the Japanese, they don't have a word that means identity, which for a good part of my life, I was trying to find for myself. And for that portion, I, I, I couldn't find out who that was. I didn't really know who I was. Until I met you, Sonny. And when I first saw you, I saw someone who was brave. It was funny. <laughs> it was honest. And true. To himself. And what was in his heart. And as I got to know this man, I saw something else. It's all those feelings that I'd had, those feelings that I'd, I'd been hiding. They weren't wrong. And uh, it was through our friendship, and then later, my love for you, that I was able, for the first time in my life, to look in that mirror and see who I really was. When I was four years old, <laughs> I knew what I wanted to do. But it was only until very recently that I found out who I wanted to be. I want to be the man who spends the rest of his life with you. Sonny Kiriakis. Mm -hmm.